Vernier calipers are often misunderstood tools. In this video, I will show you some key details for proper use, including the purpose of the cutout at the bottom, the chart on the back, and how to read the scale correctly. Caliper comes in different versions, but the most common is Vernier caliper. Invented in 1631 by Pierre Vernier. This tool looks simple but works in a unique way. Unlike a regular ruler, the vernier scale allow for a precision measurements beyond what a ruler can achieve. Vernier calipers have only two parts, main scale and vernier scale. Main scale have fixed jaws, vernier scale have movable jaw with depth rod sticking at the end. This tool is very precise and can measure with an accuracy of 0.02 mm. However, reading a scale required a bit of practice. To get a measurement, line up the zero on the vernier scale with any number on the main scale and see which lines align perfectly. When it is done, any number between zeros will not align with the main scale. It is done intentionally. For example, if the first zero line on the vernier scale matches with 3mm and last zero line on vernier scale matches with any line with the main scale, your measurement is 3mm. And if the first line of the vernier scale is cross 3mm on main scale, we have to see which line aligns with the main scale. For this, use your specs if needed. In this first line after 0.2 match perfectly, then the measurement will be 3.22 mm. To ensure the measurement, we can use digital caliper to check whether it is correct or not. Vernier caliper are highly accurate and don't require any batteries, making them very reliable compared to digital calipers, which are easier to read because they display the measurements on the screen but both serve the same purpose however if your caliper isn't maintained properly it can lose its accuracy to check close the jaw and hold the caliper up to the light if light passes through the jaw or if the caliper slides too loosely your measurement may be off by one to two millimeters vernier caliper can measure four main things the outer diameter or thickness, inner diameter, depth or step measurement. While measuring the outer diameter or thickness of the piece, place it close to the main scale for accurate measurements. However, if you want to take measurements of narrow spaces like a screw, then the sharp edge of the caliper is best for this kind of measurements. But there is a different method of measuring diameter of drill bit and a end mill. Hold the vernier caliper gently and rotate the drill bit until it reaches its highest point. Next is smaller jaw, which is used to measure inner diameter of bearing, drill holes and cavity. While measuring the inner diameter, wiggle it little bit to ensure it is at the widest point for better accuracy. Next is depth rod. It is connected to the vernier scale. For accurate measurements, bottom of the scale should flush to the surface. But it is not possible in this case. It is more accurate to measure smaller diameter hole. It can also be used to measure the step. In depth rod, the cutout at the bottom plays a major role. While measuring a hole which have a square at the bottom, face the cutout towards the wall of the hole. This will help you to get a accurate measurements. Unlike a square cutout, measuring the conical hole or a hole done by a drill bit, face the cutout away from the wall to get accurate measurement. The last method is step measurement. It is the least known but useful for measuring the height of a step or edge. Flip the caliper upside down and keep it flush against the surface for accurate measurements. It helps when the surface is even. After these two calipers, there is another caliper which is still popular among 
metal workers. In this vernier, scale is in circular form, which indicates the decimal point. It is little bit easy to read as compared to vernier caliper. Most of the calipers have a chart behind the caliper. It is about threads and tapping, like pitch, groove, drill size for tapping, etc. The simplified version of this chart is printed on back of the scale as well. Learning how to use a vernier caliper properly will improve your skills and help you to take more accurate measurements. With practice, you will be able to use this tool like a pro.